In this video, we're going to look at how you can get your Akai APC64 set up in Ableton super quick. First thing you want to do is connect the APC to Ableton Live and turn it on. Once it's turned on, right out of the bat, it is in something called standalone mode, not in the Ableton Live controller mode. If you click custom and custom mode again, you have global configuration. Press this in, go down and choose Ableton Live. Then go back to session view mode and go to Ableton Live. Once you're in Ableton Live, we now need to set up our MIDI preferences. If you go up to Live, Settings, if you're doing this on a Windows computer, you will go up to Options and your preferences are found in there. Or you can use a shortcut, which is Control comma or Command comma on Mac. Then we're gonna go to Link Tempo MIDI. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up as a control surface in Ableton Live. So that basically means is we won't have to do any manual MIDI mapping. The touch faders here will automatically map up to things we select on these buttons down here. The pads will automatically control instruments and we'll be able to launch clips and scenes without having to map anything up. We do this by going down to li this list here and we wanna choose the APC64 door port on the input and the door port on the output. Now for notes in here, we wanna make sure we have notes uh, selected on and MIDI uh, selected on. On the output, we just wanna make sure the sync is turned on and the MIDI sync is turned on. Then we are set up, ready to go. Now, if I load a track here in Ableton Live, you see I have some clips engaged. If I go ahead and play them. I can turn them off. And turn them back on, just like launching normal clips. We have our scenes down here. To turn off and launch scenes. Now let's check out note mode configuration. So if I go in here, if I play this here, it will only play whatever track is record enabled. We also have this step sequencer here, which is quite useful. Now, each one of these comes in on a different MIDI channel. So can you see here tra track one, that's gonna come in on MIDI channel one. Now this can be a bit clunky because in Ableton Live, if you have it set to all channels, it's gonna come down all of the channels. So if you want it set to separate channels, what you'd have to do is you'd have to go here. If we go create some new MIDI channels, and I'm gonna do a few of them. Now this will correspond to, see if I do a sequence like this, and I solo this and press play. See now this is playing it. But then if I go over here, can you see it's also doing these tracks here because it's on channel one. So if we go into the step sequencer here, we press this, we scroll all the way over to number seven, which is MIDI channel, and we're gonna put that to basically start on channel two. So that means our note modes will always come in on channel one and our step sequences will chart start on channel two. Then we have to do this for each one. So this one's on channel two, if I do three, and I go across here, so step sequence, so track one, two, three, and this one, four, five, six. That's gonna keep them separate. Then if I press save, that has now saved it. So now if I go in here and I choose this one to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These can all be on separate MIDI channels. So if I load in an instrument here, go to the sequence here and I press play. It's all on a separate track. So that's how you would get set up with your APC in Ableton Live.